All right. All right, you long range bastards. Here is the ultimate ranger build. Ranger can be built in many ways. I've played up until now ranger with Gelmancer and intelligence. So I distributed my points into intelligence, finesse and wits and some into memory, obviously. It worked fantastic. I didn't specialize in one thing, which is pretty damn fine by me. People are constantly bitching in comments that you should always specialize, blah, 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 if you did not do this, if you did not do that. Thing is, everything works. Every single one of the builds that I did work. It doesn't have to be the way you envisioned it, all right? It's not the only way. There are plenty of ways. I'm not saying mine is the only way. I never said that. I always say that every build is flexible. You can build it in many ways. There is no one perfect way, all right? Perfect is the way it suits your party. So if you're missing in an element, you're going to put element on that character. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be a rogue. You can put that element on him. If you're missing physical damage, you're going to put that on another one as well. So there is no one thing, all right? This is my version on it. Pure physical insane damage. We specialize in it, period. What I did here is really simple. I put points into ranged. Yeah, I have lone wolf perk at the moment activated. That's why high numbers. Put points into ranged. Put points into huntsman. Scoundrel to increase our critical multiplier. And put couple of points into... Actually put one point only into warfare. And put two points into polymorph. Here are the talents. Elemental Ranger is really good because you will always do bonus elemental damage depending on the surface your target is standing in. Really cool thing. Executioner, that's why we went with one point in Warfare. We will get two extraction points after dealing a killing blow. And that's pretty damn insane considering how much damage we are doing. Gorilla is here mostly because I like to start the battle on my own terms. And with it you can one shot enemies with this build on classic mode. On tactician mode where I'm playing at the moment. You'll almost kill them with one shot. Hothead to increase that critical chance and get more accuracy. Accuracy is really important. You don't want to miss with your arrows. And obviously Lone Wolf. If you're not playing solo, remove Lone Wolf and get something like Glass Cannon. Stench is usually good, but considering how many escape routes we, we've got with this build, it's not that necessary. Duck Duck Goose as well, it would be useful in general, but we have so many ways to escape our enemies that it's not that useful with this particular build. Usually it would be. And typical ones you can always go for all skilled up, bigger and better, comeback kid, living armor, I mean normal stuff there. You can see how I distributed my points, finesse, with some of the points that were left over I put into constitution and memory. These numbers are so high up because of the lone wolf. Critical chance is over 100%. I could not be arsed getting with slower than optimizing the equipment. So that it is exactly 100% just pointless. Could not be fucking arsed. Don't care about it. Either way, this will be good if you're not playing with Lone Wolf. Then you want to put maximum amount of points into Wits. That means to 40 when you're at higher levels. And also maximum amount in Finesse, which is also 40. Finesse directly affects your damage while memory while, while Wits directly affects your critical chance. As for the gear, go for everything that boosts your Wits, Finesse scoundrel and warfare but warfare being the least important one a couple of points into necromancy would be good as well but i have on this weapon lifesteal 20 percent of it so no need for that if you're wondering where i got this weapon i got it in arcs when i went to mention of that paladin guy lord cam whatever his name is then some undead enemies attacked me and one of them dropped this absolutely amazing so what I put here is simple. I put Mystical Giant Master Rook Rune. That gives you more wits, which means more critical chance. And it gives you plus 15% damage if you have the Master Rook Rune. So my damage is really high. You'll see. You won't believe how much damage I'm doing. 
with the amulet I went with giant flame runes basically because they give you more critical chance so put as many as you can now from the skills go for every skill in the hunter tree everything is useful and add to that cloak and dagger clear minded is always good to have so maybe with that one point into pyrokinetic would do you wonders with that spread your wings from polymorph that's why we put two points into polymorph and also chameleon cloak from polymorph that way we have spread your wings cloak and dagger chameleon cloak and tactical retreat all the things that we need to get away from the enemy you don't need as many tools as i have right now because i'm playing solo you don't need that many in a party you can only get spread your wings more than enough one more thing if you went to that black house you can get these boots lord rainy's boots that will set erratic wisp on you which means that whenever someone hits you you will teleport to another location and it also gives you insane amount of air resistance so this is extremely good for a ranger nothing else needs to be added it's really simple we are basing this build on critical chance critical multiplier and direct physical damage so let's get started i'm about to test my build in magister barracks where all these paladins are and also this boss so if i manage to kill them all and i believe i will it will be pretty epic this is on tactician mode I went into stealth that way i gain bonus from guerrilla and also i'm going to use assassinate assassinate deals 50 percent more damage from stealth so check this out now <laughs> you can see the damage boom one down they didn't even react it was that fast confess to the murder fuck it Paladin Protector, Paladin Defender. The only thing that you need to be wary of is the fact that some of these guys can cast Deflective Barrier. That way you will get all the damage that you've done to them. Which is not that great. Because you're going to be killing yourself really fast. Alright. Let's get this done quickly. Immediately I will jump here somewhere to gain more distance. I want to show you the Ballistic Shot. One of the best abilities. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm out of range for this guy. Never mind, I got haste. Ballistic shot deals more damage the further the target is from you. More meters, more damage. Look at this. Two shots on tactician mode. This is stupid. What you can also do is put reactive shot on the ground. That way, whenever someone moves through this area you will take a shot at them this is just skill that i got from equipment boom reactive shot it's called living wall skill if you want it it can be useful to create those choke points where enemies cannot encircle you i immediately went into this setup over here where i'm cornered so that you can see how powerful this build is now this is the issue, deflecting, deflective barrier. I cannot attack this guy while he has this up. Yeah, he's doing the same thing. That sucks. Anyway. And also, I don't have Huntsman bonus. So I would be doing even more damage with the Huntsman. If I could get to a high ground. Which I might get to over here. But not now. So I can use this glitter dust. When target is marked, it decreases its ability to dodge, prevents target from going invisible. That's useful against the rogue attackers. Still, I want to use now sky shot. Just to see how much damage we get from high ground bonus. Look at this. Look at this. We just did six almost seven thousand damage to this guy. Seven thousand fucking damage. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's This could get boring how powerful it is. And look at this, Eretic Wisp. As soon as they hit me, I'm changing position. 
is the perfect thing for a ranger. Now you would think that we are in trouble. We might be. I still got 20% life still from my weapon. That's why I'm not worried that much. If I hit them for 7000 damage, I'm going to get at least 1000 back to health. Usually I would use ricochet here, but I don't want to since this guy has deflective barrier on. So what I'm about to do is this and use elemental arrowhead, water arrows. There we go, guy from 15,000 health and 7,000 physical armor, or I don't know how much I wasn't paying attention to it and dropped down like nothing. Alright, so now it's time to get the hell away from here. And deal with others on our own terms. With this I can also wait until the deflecting barrier goes away. And I think I'm about to do just that. When you go invisible, you can use cloak and dagger whenever you want. It will not break invisibility. I believe so. Or will it? Yep, it does not break. Absolutely amazing. And now... Reactive shot here. So whenever they come through this area, I will take reactive shot at every single one of these guys. The problem is that two of my enemies have deflective barrier, if I'm not mistaken. Well, only one is in this room. I don't know where the other one is. Doesn't matter. Wait, reactive shot. What? Oh, I went... Yeah, that's the issue with erratic wasp. Wisp, whatever. You never know where you're going to get teleported. So I got teleported too far from the reactive shot area. So it was not possible for me to take reactive shot. They lost the deflective barrier. So I can do this. <laughs> Epic. This guy was frozen because I'm using elemental arrows. So I don't need to worry about him. Let's take the last shot on him and probably kill him. Yep. I have to say, although Retic Wisp doesn't work well with reactive shot, it's absolutely amazing skill. And there you go. Do you need any more confirmation that this is absolutely ridiculous? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please check out the description for lots of info about possible donations. If you want to support the channel even more, I'm always open for that, obviously. And more info about other channels that I'm usually working on when there's not much to do on RPG Division. Cheers! Enjoy! 